Okay, so I just got done doing this video and it, a light bulb went off in my head. What I had just done, and you can check out the video on how I made these, and this is using, look at all these cool ones. Actually, I actually them a couple of different colors. We're gonna use the same colors here in a minute. Uh, the concept is very similar, but how I went around is a little bit different, but I made these using paper. These are uh, newspaper, and this is tissue paper, like packing tissue paper. It's really quite cool. The video for how to do those are up at the top. Well, as I was doing those flowers, and they're sitting here drying, and I'm like, light bulb, I feel like the minions. Take a look at the paper towel that's below here. It's still not 100% dry, but it looks really cool. And then I have one where it's kind of, kind of there, but not. This one, I'm actually going to move this one off to the side here. I'm going to come in with just a little hint of some spots of blue. And then, I just, I'm going to kind of pull this off to the side. I've always done this paper towel trick below. I'm going to come in with a darker color. Um, so I've always done this below, but I've never done anything with the paper towels. I always throw them away. And then I'm seeing these flowers sitting here, and I'm like, ta-da. So all I'm really doing is I'm taking a little bit of my couple of mists and the paper towels. And look how easy this is right here, right? I'm just flicking it. I think I'm also, just for grins and giggles, there's really no wrong way to do this. I, I'm completely just trying something out here because I've never done this. And spot, spot, <laughs> getting it mucky. I don't want to oversaturate this because I'm going to use this right away. I'm adding color. I don't want to oversaturate certain sections. I want to keep this a very blue coloration. So it's going to be the blues, the whites. I think I need some more color over here. This one's almost done. There we go. Maybe adds uh, just, I'm trying different things. There we go. And then, there we go. Okay, so I'm gonna ball that up, get it all. I mean, you can still see my inky hands from the previous one, right? Just look at that, so cool. Oh, so pretty. I'm absolutely in love with this, look at that. That's just kind of a cool background. Okay, that I'm just gonna set off to the dry. This one has been drying, and this one's got two different colors going on here. This has actually got one, two, three, four sections. This one only has three, so they're going to be different sized flowers. All I'm going to do is I'm going to take my scissors, and I'm going to cut this in half as best I can. It's still a little damp. And we're going to see what happens. Now, this is going to have a two-tone color. That is going to be, we're going to make more flowers, if you hadn't figured that out. I'm going to pull out the same glue I used for that, which is my super tight adhesive. This is a white school glue, and it's just, it leaves a nice bead, as you can see right here. Pretty much the same method, but again, it's how, that this one I rolled and then sprayed. These ones I am, I sprayed it with the leftover paper towels, and then I'm adding them in. So I'm just going to do, and I did two different types of flowers. I'm only going to do one type of flower with this one now. So if you want to learn how to make the other type of flower, I actually showed two different methods on that one. Go check out the video for how I made both different types of flowers. They're really quite cool. Okay, so now that I have my strip, I think I'm going to call this my center. And I'm just going to do what I call the rosette method. And I'm going to come in and twist and roll, twist and roll, twist and roll. Look at that. Go, the color patterns happening here. So pretty. Add my little school glue. I actually do have a glue jar, which I'm going to pull closer. Twist and roll. Now we're changing into the other color here. So look at that. And you can see that mica kind of pulling through. Look at that mica right there. It's going to kind of, there we go. And you can see some of those color tones. So pretty. And this is just paper towels. Cannot get enough of this. So cool. So pretty. I go into more detail about actually how to make these, but it was one of those things I'm seeing the paper towels sitting there in front of me. I'm going, oh, I got to do something with them. And I was making all these flowers. And like I said, it was purely a light bulb moment. Look at that. So cool. My hands are a little mucky, which is why I got it a little gross in the middle. But you know what I can do? I can take a little bit of this. This is the color I was using. I'm using two different colors of mist. I've got the pink poodle. And I also have um, 
Oh, I used Snowy Pine. I did add that on there. I pulled both colors. I wasn't sure which one I wanted to do. There we go. Look how cool that is. I wasn't sure which one I wanted to do. And then I also have uh, Dragonfly. Very cool. All right. So I did the pink in the middle and then I go went out to blue. What if we reverse that? So grab my glue again. And I'm folding it in half to give it a little bit more um, volume is the best way to describe it. I'm kind of obsessed with these flowers right now. They're really fun. Da, fold over again. There we go. Okay, so now I'm going to start with the blue side. Get my little nub going. And yeah, my hands are a big giant mess. If that part bothers you, then I would suggest putting on gloves or letting your paper towels dry overnight because um, they're still a little bit damp. And I got some paper towel fringes from where I cut. You know, it doesn't bother me. I think that's kind of adding to the, the fun of this. I got to add some glue in here so everything sticks to itself. But it's all going to come tearing down. So I know paper towels are a little bit flimsy, but I think that they just look really cool. The texture on them looks really pretty. It's an extra piece. It just doesn't want to go anywhere. Um, but you could totally spray this with something after to kind of seal it all in. And that would look really pretty. So now we're kind of changing into the other color. We're hitting into the pink. Look at that tone of pink. It's that little pop there. Oh, got to add more glue. Nothing's sticking to itself right now. You got to make sure that you add the glue on there or it doesn't have anything to stick to. Very, very cool. Look at that. It's so pretty. And I think I'm going to add, just because it'll look funny having white at the end. And you totally do not have to, I keep forgetting to put glue on, which is why I'm unwinding it. You totally do not have to do two tones, but it just makes it look kind of pretty. So the other one that we're going to be doing here is a single tone. And I've got lots of spaces where i got to add glue. So I'm just kind of pulling apart some of the layers here, adding glue. Look at that. And then kind of pick up some of the excess, maybe. Yeah, why not? Hit that color. I mean, there's nothing that says I have to go one way or the other with it. That's kind of fun. I'm just playing. I mean, I don't have a, a thought in mind about what I'm really going to do with these. But like I said, because they're paper towels and they're pretty absorbent, um, they're going to dry. They're going to look just like this when they're done. I'm going to do the other one while I'm waiting here. But these ones are not going to be anywhere near as big. You could definitely put a sealant on top of them. Same with all the paper ones that I have over here, just to protect them. You could do like a spray sealant on top. And then you could use them for a wreath. You could use them as, um, put them on a frame for a decor piece. There's so many options. Just look up what to do with paper flowers. And I'm just kind of showing you how to make them. But what you do with them is the answer great. Put them on, this could be really pretty on a, um, an art journal. They're kind of bulky, but like on scrapbook pages and stuff, especially if you sealed it first, you're making a flower. It's very simple. Okay, so these ones are all the same color, same concept. Come in, roll it up. This one's got lots of cool color happening. There's a little flicks of the purple because it was on my hands. But that's okay. So I'm doing more of a tight spiral on. There's no right or wrong way to do these flowers. And that's what's beautiful about them. They're all going to look pretty. My daughter made a whole bunch in the first video. She would be doing these here with me right now, but she ran over to her friend's house to play. So she's not here to do this with me at this moment. But I'm just kind of, look at that. Almost looks like fabric. Looks like a little piece of fabric on here. So gorgeous. And these ones are not going to be as big of a flower because uh, the strip of paper towel was not as long. So look at that. So cool. I'm going to just last one, but I'm going to speed that up for you.
saw, I just cut a little snippet off. Sometimes the little pieces are not enough to roll back under again. So it is what it is. Now, truthfully, I like the solid color better than the multicolored ones, but it, they're all kind of cool. Um, it got me thinking because this was, oh, was it two years ago, two and a half years ago, I was at a conference with Shannon Green. And if you have not checked out her channel, she's got a really cool channel. She has all kinds of really wonky, wacky stuff, which is so fun because she just comes up with things that I just am like, where did you get that? And this was kind of an inspiration from her. So we were at the conference and another uh, designer was there and she was working with a whole bunch of Ken Oliver stuff, the color bursts. And we were all in kind of a booth together, demoing together, doing different stuff. I was helping with Tattered Angels and then Ken Oliver was over there doing with, he wasn't there, but another designer was doing stuff with his things. So she had paper towels because she was constantly cleaning up the craft mat. And so she had all these paper towels with all these different colors. And Shannon truthfully took all those paper towels home. And she says, I don't know what I'm going to do with them yet, but they're really pretty looking and I'm going to come up with an idea. And so from then on out, I know I have no clue what she ever did with them. I I'm, I'm still have never found um, something she did with those. But from then on out, it always got me thinking whenever I was having the paper towels down, these are so pretty. And it made me think like, yeah, she's absolutely right. They're so gorgeous. It looks like paper. There's beautiful colors, especially when you're misting or dealing with color bursts or something. What could you do with them? And then when I made all these beautiful flowers, um, after I had misted them, I'd like well, flowers it's material or it's kind of like a fabric. It reminded me of the tissue paper that I made with these ones. How cool is that? They have a texture to them. They would so totally roll like all these other flowers. And then just, they would look like it's, it would look so cool. So that's where the inspiration came from those. How fun is that? And it's just a little side something. Sometimes you just have to go and try it and see what it's going to be like. And cause you never really know. I'm going to get some up close pictures so you can see better off of my uh, yucky craft mat. I never clean these things. I'm bad. <laughs> so thanks so much for stopping by. And don't forget to check out all links for where you can find uh, the white school glue. There is going to be a link below for a uh, coupon code where you can find it. And it's super cheap. I love the little applicator at the top because it helped make a nice fine line, which is fabulous. So check that out. And if you've not seen this fun idea that I have for a glue, I put it in upside down. Therefore, the glue doesn't run out. It's kind of fabulous in that way. So again, thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to subscribe. The links are down below where you can find your glues and obviously paper towels, but also your glimmer mist and check out the video on how I could do the other version. So there's two different versions. You can see they're kind of going on here. Another version of making these fun up and think about different materials that you can do. Please subscribe. I'll see you guys in later. Bye-bye.